Bye. Yeah, fuck it, I'm not doing 30 again next time. Um, <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> it'll be a running bit now. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Bloody Good Screen Movie Club. I'm your host, Mark Goddard. And we've got the whole group here today. And obviously, Hunter, as our special guest, is back. Uh, so, welcome back, Hunter Shay. You know, usually you have me on for C movies, as in I don't want to see this movie. So... <laughs> I'm I'm proud and happy to be here with something maybe not the right. elevated. <laughs> well, for, well, well, for, for uh, <laughs> we've also got Nar with us who never enjoyed what we want. Hello. <laughs> and we've got Tad. Hello. And of course, Lord Marker. Hello. What was that noise? <laughs> oh, fuck, you hear mic like stand? All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's back in it. He's back in it against the mic. Testing, testing. Is this what? I don't know what that sounds like to you, lot, if anything. Very tinny. <laughs> Take this off now. Talk very closely to it throughout the whole episode. Oh, don't yes, that. That's that's oh, in this like next that. film, lovely, dark, and deep, we're going to discuss the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> As someone who does listen to ASMR, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, stand good that. ASMR I series. Stand <laughs> I was turned on. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I just didn't want to admit it. <laughs> Only you're wearing pants. <laughs> As always, we are here to review the best and the worst of of horror and general cinema um this week we've got two very different movies uh we have dr jekyll starring um eddie Izzard. she they them now i don't know what she got what she goes by outside of acting but no, it's not eddie Izzard anymore um nars the volcano going to mordor oh, the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna throw um, a and, drink in the lava and of course uh, something that you know, of course, something that, that Mark was like very deeply, um, lovely, love, dark, and deep. Um, will be our we also watched a film called that. <laughs> we did, <laughs> we did. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you about the one you lent me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's really weird because Nas' head just keeps going in and out of like this. Yeah, don't, I think he's been consumed by lava. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> But as always, what I like to ask the guys every single episode is, what have you been watching at cinema recently? So I'm going to go to our guest for the week, Hunter. Have you seen anything good in the last month since we last spoke to you? Three hours ago, I got out of the movie theaters because I went to see Immaculate with Sidney Sweeney. And oh, it's not went to see that. Thing. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I know Sidney Sweeney is a woman of great talent. Two of them. I think. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> um, I look. My bar was really low on this. I didn't know because you know I'm like we see so many kind of like possession, Rosemary's Baby kind of movies. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> kick ass. But she and she, I never thought I'd walk out of anything that she's in and go, wow, she was Sydney Sweeney was really good. And I'm not talking about the nudity. First time you're gonna see a nun nude in your life. Well. Other than your fans. Now he's interested. <laughs> What's the film called again? <laughs> it, it's a called Immaculate. She plays a nun in this I'll movie. I'll be back in, in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> she never disappoints. But no, this movie was actually really good. And I've had no hope for horror movies this year. So this gave me a glimmer of hope. Uh, no, I have no hope for any kind of horror film at any time we watch them. <laughs> I don't know. This one sounds pretty good. We should have done oh, you'll, you'll like it. You'll I wonder like why. <laughs> hmm. not, if not you don't like the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, any any else we watched recently? Uh, <clears throat> I was doing the Deathstalker one and two thing recently. On they were on mm. Shutter over here. That's a ridiculous sword and sorcery, blood and boobs, which was great. 
I think everybody was smoking crack when they made the first one. And then they Americanized it and just made it terrible for the second one. I heard there's a third and a fourth, so I need to seek these things out. Mm. Hmm. Yes, you tend to have a million a month on your list. And I have, we haven't spoken to you for a couple of months now. So no. what, what have you been watching since the quiz show, quiz episode? Um, well, I wasn't watching much. Like, I couldn't go to the cinema for like a month. So that was upsetting. <laughs> and then when I did get back, I went with my friend to see Lisa Frankenstein and he hated it so vocally I had to get us out of there. <laughs> so oh. I, was, I didn't even get to finish that. Oh. <laughs> and then the week after that, I tried to go see Perfect Days. Uh, tr public transport was not on my side. I didn't end up getting to go to that. <laughs> so today, I've managed to go to the Prince Charles, did a double bill. I saw Perfect Days and then I saw Late Night with the Devil and very different vibes. I was <laughs> just about to ask whether you'd seen that. I want to see it so bad. It is good. Oh, it's very. very good. Well, uh, it? Which one? Perfect days. Uh, late night with the devil. Oh, very, very good. No, that's very good. Um, it's going to be on Shutter soon, but I wanted to see it on the big screen because I've been looking forward to it for ages. And I was very upset at Russell when he got to see it at the BFI festival <laughs> like ages ago, because mm. um, David Desmarchian is like one of my favorite actors, and see him in the lead is like mm. incredible. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. I know. You, I think Mark's seen it, <clears throat> um, yeah. but yeah, it was really I'll good. Send you a Great vibe, <laughs> great atmosphere. Um, love the performances. Really, really funny, actually. And um, but when I went onto Letterbox after, there is a whole discourse going on right now, and I have some opinions. <laughs> oh boy, there is. Is, a, is this the one about the AI? The AI. Yeah. I'm just. Gonna, I'm gonna fucking say it. Everyone who is like, oh, these three still images of AI in the movie is like ruined it for me, and I'm gonna review it. Fuck you. <laughs> like three images and three images. They were AI noise. generated. They come up as like, um, you know, like be back soon kind of cards, like in the TV mm. show, and right. they were also edited like by people after as well. And it's like you're gonna let that ruin the whole movie for you. By the way, those same people will be boffing AI robots in five years. Oh, honestly, fingers like, crossed. So. This is. <laughs> it's just like at Fright Fest, I had to sit through four days of like pigeon shrine trailers. Come back to me when you've seen those and say that these are, are a problem for like, you know, these three images. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not that bad, guys. <laughs> I have yeah. a question. Mm. Sorry, Lisa Frankenstein. Before you left, was it any good? I wasn't a fan. I really wanted to see it through to the end to see if it changed my mind, but yeah, I wasn't really vibing with it. It felt really slow. Like it was only like an hour and twenty minutes. I think. I think we maybe. No, it might have been longer, maybe an hour and a half, hour and 45. I think it made it maybe through an hour. Um, but I can sit through anything after watching Bo is Afraid. I would have sat there. <laughs> That's <laughs> a I just, long I, movie. And it's obviously written by Diablo Cody, who did like one of my favorite films, Jennifer's Body. So I was yeah. really, really hyped. But um, there were funny few funny few moments in it. But overall, I wasn't really into it. Mm, but, um, that's sad. Yeah, I'll have to try and finish it at some point <laughs> and see how it is. Cool. Good section of movies. Um, what if I see more of being being kind of stuck indoors for so long? Huh? Scroll just brought. I thought you oh, yeah. would have seen more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was really, really ill. I was like bed bound for like two weeks. <laughs> I was actually wow. just in bed the whole time, and I couldn't focus on watching anything. But I have been reading more actually, so that's good. <laughs> I got myself a new Kindle. Always... I myself. <laughs> Which we always like. <laughs> yeah. We'll do that bit at the end of the episode. Um, Marcus, what have you seen this week? Um, this month. <laughs> I have not watched any films other than the two for today. However, I have been watching a bit more Miss Marple and a bit of Heartbeat as it's come on TV, <laughs> which I've been made fun of for already. Miss Marple? Yeah, it's good. How, how old are you? Jessica Fletcher. <laughs> it's, it's more I, Heartbeat. <laughs> I, I know you're younger than me, and that seems too old for me. <laughs> to be fair, See, this I is my answer to Heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like the old shows. They're just funny. That and Only Fools and Horses. Gotta love that. You should check out Rumpole oh, yeah. of the Bailey. Go check that out next. Check what oh, out? Sorry. That's from the 80s. Rumpole of the Baileys. <laughs> an old Rumpole judge. The Baileys. Oh my, my dad. You, you, can, you, you can get that. <laughs> you can get it on the on gold, I think. It's everywhere. You'll find it. It's on Amazon Prime as well. There you go. Probably. <laughs> That's probably the most British-looking guy. Like, I thought that show mm -hmm. they stopped making that 
He is scary, surely. They did. <laughs> is that the one with Green Everyone Grass? Everyone in dead. In Green I'm Grass, sure. yeah. Wow. Which, I think even Green Grass had his, his own spin-off series after that. Fuck off. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? That's over. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, um, no, what have you been watching? <laughs> um, I'm having uh, nineties. Just, yeah, just Harvey. Yeah. No, the casualty. Oh. Um, no, I've been it's watching famous. bizarrely Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, good <laughs> choice. I have a picture here. <laughs> I'm I'm completely hooked <laughs> again. I'm on season four now, and I've been watching it pretty much non-stop for a week. Um, Is season four the the one where it ends with the prom? Angel turns I haven't got to the end of it yet, and none of them have done since. So, yeah, I assume so. Spoiler but it's the one where Angel died at the end of season three, and then he sort of comes back. Oh, and he came back. Yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's what's happening at the moment. So I might still be on season three, actually. I don't know. They're long old episodes. You had, you had faith in it yet? Yeah, she's in it. I love okay. faith. Kendra? Yeah. Has Kendra died yet? Yeah, because Faith takes over from Kendra, I think. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Poor Kendra. Yeah, yeah she got yeah. a terrible accent, though. Terrible. They went, can yes. you do it? Very racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do it anyway. No, I can do, I can do kind of a South African accent. <laughs> <laughs> it was That'll awful, do. whatever it was. Real bad. Are you going to cross it over with Angel as well when it gets to that bit? Or Yeah, I was watching that. Because uh, they're both on Disney. And I've never seen Angel, mm. so I might do prefer angel yeah. actually a lot darker mm. and that's still got what's facing it the fit one can't remember her name cordelia <laughs> cordelia yeah cordelia oh yeah mm. yeah you, 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 you're not gonna like that at the end of it <laughs> oh no <laughs> spoilies i'm not spoiling anything <laughs> you know what this no podcast spoilies. is like nothing but spoilers <laughs> yeah, not, not for me <laughs> Especially oh, yeah, a show way, that's like spoiler. 25 years old. Yeah. <laughs> and I've managed to keep out of the spoiler bits. I thought I've managed well. Yeah. But yeah, apart from that, I haven't seen a single other thing other than these films. Wow. This, uh, oh, this feature. Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you, I watched my first Studio Ghibli film. Ooh, Ooh, which one? Which one, was yeah. it? which one? My neighbor Totoro. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> Tadaro. Tadaro. <laughs> that it's one. It's one. very cute. It's very cute. <laughs> you never saw very Spirited sad. Away? I think it's their best. I haven't seen any like of them until now. Spirited Away is life changing. That movie is. Yeah, I've heard that. And also, the the Grave of the Fireflies, apparently yeah. that will devastate me. Oh, Grave of the <laughs> yeah, Fireflies. Yeah, that's horrible. I didn't think I'd start with that one. <laughs> that's actually heart my heart favorite film. Yeah. When Spirited Away came out, my friend and I went to the movie theater for a matinee, and it was all kids. And then oh, really? there's a scene like 10 minutes in with the parents turn into pigs and the kids went <laughs> nuts. That is the and kind of thing just... that would terrify me. It was <laughs> just me and my friend me. and like 10 people <laughs> right after from a packed movie theater to just nobody. <laughs> wow. We've we discussed which ones to show to my daughter at some point, but we're like, no, not straight away because that's going to have the bits for the pigs. And that's just gonna <laughs> They're just... all quite <laughs> adult. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, even Totoro got that. It, it's quite. A sad story, really. But I think the oh, most tame one, one was the fish one. Oh, the boy and the heron. On you. On you. Yeah, I oh, want to yeah. see that. I didn't, I didn't get to see that one. Um, but yeah, this one was like there are a few moments where I thought it was going to actually like emotionally destroy me. Yeah. There was like mm. two moments where I thought someone's going to die, <laughs> but they didn't. I was like, thank God. But the mum, the mum's going <laughs> to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, best. Uh, How's Beef and Castle is my favourite one. Oh, that's another oh, one. That's my that friend's favourite. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. It's also quite sad. Um, yeah. Also, a trilogy of books. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, actual oh. books or like yeah, actual graphic books. Yeah, no, books. Actual, no, actual book. It's based on a book. Wow. Okay. The, the, best, the best animated movies are coming from there of the last yeah. 20 years, mm. easily. The oh, closest yeah, thing Disney's ever done. Mm. It's because they're consistently good. Where yeah. Disney, mm. is well, I don't know. The, the 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 last the last half of the ones they did weren't amazing. Eerie and the Witch of Water. I haven't seen that one. I got to check it out. No. Just it's to be a completist. Proper, it's one of their first CGI ones. Not great. Oh, but. is there AI? If there's AI, I'll protest. 
<laughs> so sad it's gonna get cancelled. <laughs> Let's hang on the podcast. Look, I've looked at Twitter today. There's several things I ain't touched this week. So, <laughs> yeah, this is why I'm glad I don't I have do. any more. I would have been uh, just hating the AI discourse. Like, just on Letterboxd mm. alone, I was like, no. <laughs> Who do you reckon made right, this we... volcano? Huh? <laughs> it weren't a human. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I think AI I made volcano. It was a movie volcano. <laughs> and Marcus, it's a shame we didn't have you know it. When we reviewed that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've only watched two films this time around. Um, the Marvels, I really enjoyed it. Terrible oh, people mind about it. I'm sure it's not the worst. There's a stinging No, you hate everything. No, I know it's amazing in the majority there. Yeah, I awful. Don't I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed I got it. to the singing bit and I just went, no, no more. There's, <laughs> There's singing in there. <laughs> Yeah, we just go. Weirdly, that makes me want to watch it more. <laughs> it's, it's there for no apparent reason as well. It's just quite bad. Musical. Cap, basically, yeah. Captain Marvel was married into a planet of where they can only communicate through song. Nice. <laughs> that sounds like a weird episode of something. <laughs> it sounds like something uh, John Cena needs to be a part of. Yeah. yeah. Dressed in his party outfit. That. Plus, no, if you don't like that bit, you're really going to hate once again, but once more we're feeling. Which is the Buffy episode going up. You well, know, I don't see, when there's a one-off singing special, that's fine. But that's like they wanted to do a one-off special, but then remembered that they were doing a film and thought, oh, fuck mm-hmm. it, chuck it in anyway. Look, sounds like I liked it. it. It's not one of the best, well, not one of their best ones, but the last two end credit scenes sets up two amazing films coming up, so... I don't think so. I think you're right. X-Men. I think everything's X-Men, crap coming up. <laughs> Young of Ages. <laughs> I think Deadpool that was the, the heart of one. the... Which one? Deadpool 3 is the only thing that they're doing that I'm looking forward to. What about Fantastic Four? There's a third one. But that's Sony, isn't that? Doesn't Deadpool 3 done by Sony? So that's not even... No, Marvel, no. Studios. Marvel Studios. No, no. They, they, they oh. both thought so... Yeah. So I'm looking forward and, to that, and, but and, nothing else coming out of that whole yeah. turd. <laughs> and, and, and anything Spider-Man related, that's coming out of Sony, and apparently that's a dumpster fire. Yeah. Huh. Uh, and Late Night with the Devil, which I absolutely loved. Uh, I don't care about the, CG, the, the AI thing. You shit. tell them. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be so cancelled. I actually came, I came out of that so angry. I was like, why is everyone making a big deal out of this? That's all I've eyes. seen on Twitter over the last week is Ed hey, is a scene in a sense of scene. Mm, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon they did it to rile people up? Because that seems a lot of effort for no apparent reason. <laughs> well, if they didn't mention it, no one would have said anything. But... Exactly. Here's so you did deal. a thing and then you told everybody you did a thing. So they'd get angry. It's it's I'll getting it's better, such good funny. praise that people have to shit on it. Like you got these people who wait. Oh, people like this. I got to find a reason to shit on it, and that's exactly what happens. It's so easy just to not put three images in your film. Hmm. I don't get why they leave it open to that. I don't know. It's just weird. Of course, it's yeah. controversy, doesn't it? <laughs> Bit more, but more open. There we go. Anyway, so let's get into our first movie. Talking about controversies and and, and the like. Um. Go to Dr. Jekyll. We get a bit of mixed reviews as well on this one. <laughs> um, so our first film up is Dr. Jekyll, which is that one there. I, I like it when we have images now. <laughs> um, a Hammer Horror movie as well. We like a bit of Hammer Horror. Let's not call it that. It's a Hammer Horror movie. <laughs> hammer, that's that's got you missed the perfect opportunity here, Mark. You could have been like, stop. It's Hammer time. <laughs> He's wearing the pants too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. At least Muffs is wearing pants now. Um, oh, am I? <laughs> no, that is not. Stay down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hold you and your girlfriend around. But... <laughs> oh, no, just get a sense of bar real quick. I'll, uh, so I'll hold this, this over. It's fine. <laughs> so, this is a modern take on the style of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, we've got Mrs. Hyde now. So it's uh, Eddie Izzard playing a doctor 
she's in search for a helper as uh, she has an injury and she can't walk around so leads on to i don't know the lad you know, getting close to the lad and her being evil and all that shit. yeah no the story of dr and mr high um i'm gonna go to nile first because i want to know what nile's thoughts on this one. are you sure That's you want to go straight first let's I'll start low nile. and maybe work our way up <laughs> yeah pretty got, much. um i've actually got some notes for this one because it angered me sorry in the volcano. Really, it looks like just like a volcano. <laughs> it does. Yeah, chuck them in the volcano. Right yeah. on. Like, is your first note go woke or go broke? He's <laughs> got yeah. some burning it's thoughts. No, to volcano. be honest, I wasn't that fussed about most things. In fact, I've written the first line I said, Except... it starts off quite well. It was all right at the beginning. And then 40 <laughs> minutes in, um, everybody just started acting like they were in a pantomime. Like the acting was <laughs> terrible. Everybody was talking like, um, uh, honey, you might not get this reference, but from the Mighty Bush, there's a character called Old Greg. Anybody I'm remember Old Greg? Old Greg? <laughs> yeah, everybody started talking like Old Greg. I was like, what the fuck is going on? You ever drink um, Baileys from a shoe? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. This is Baileys, but closer. Um, yeah, all this stuff. Um, the writing's awful. Like real bad. The story is just doesn't even make any sense. So I need I need help with this. So spoiler alert. <laughs> we're I still doing that. <laughs> he went to prison for reasons that they don't actually tell us. I assume in drug we assume I figured stealing it's drugs, to get yeah. money. I think, yeah, drugs. I think stealing it was like implied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they they keep doing this thing where they go, um, I've got a troubled past. Oh, my past is so troubled. And yeah, it just reminded me of that bit in Big Bang Theory where they pretend to be goths in a bar. Where they're like, With oh, the I'm, so dark. I'm so dark. Yeah, that, that bit there. I'm so dark and troubled. <laughs> um, so. Guys, trying to speak all nice and like, yeah, bruv. But then you got to do this, bruv, innit? You know, getting all the drugs and all that. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Have you seen a chav in your life? No. Okay, well, pretend you have. <laughs> um, so she, for a start, didn't even need to be a doctor because she could have been a flamenco dancer for all it mattered. She could have said, oh, your daughter, she's dying of flamenco, lack of flamenco dancing. And I used to be a flamenco dancer. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to do the hula. Say the hula. And then she dies at the end anyway. She didn't... The, in the original story, she was a doctor <laughs> because he created the Hyde character. But in this, her dad unleashed a demon or something? Her granddad. Is that right? Oh, her granddad. Her granddad. granddad. Yeah. But it's not... So why was she... I just don't get why she was a doctor. She picked up his research once her granddad passed. Why? <laughs> Banner. Okay. Banner. Banner. <laughs> that's sorry. That's fascinated by goes. well, because it made her a billionaire, <laughs> right? <laughs> by the way, yes. Quick question: Is she a, is she a girl in this movie, or was well, she a boy that was the there a headline that said something? I know, but yeah, it's meant to be a woman. Confused. It's supposed to be yeah. Okay. Because I thought there was a headline at one point that said trans, trans billionaire. Doctor. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Uh, you guys okay. saw it too, because I wasn't sure. I didn't rewind. Talking this. about that a little bit, what did confuse me was the fact that he was credited as he is uh, at the end. And I thought it would be Susie. Because Eddie's now. I think she's kept, her, like that as a name. professional name. Yeah, she's oh, okay. as a professional not, Well, because people will him. come to see Eddie as a. <laughs> yeah. True. You know? Anyway, back to the running. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, they, they were so. This is why I don't want this to be called a hammer film because they couldn't even do any jump scares. So every time they thought there'd be a jump scare, they just did a gun noise. <laughs> no, yeah, so it wasn't really, order. <laughs> there wasn't really many jump scares in the hammer film, really, though. Yeah, but when you can't even pull off a jump scare, things are bad. Well, look. This is divorce from the hammer that we know and love. There were no hammer honeys. 
unless you consider Nina Jekyll a hammer honey. But wow. then you need a tight course and a heaving bosom. And that wasn't there. <laughs> and there's there's a sound to hammer movies. Like you can close your eyes when a hammer movie comes on, you know, just from the sound of people walking, you're like, that's a hammer movie. And we've tested and this. And I'm glad you <laughs> brought this up because the worst part of this movie for me, and you know, I used to give films awards. I haven't done that in a while. No. This one gets an award. It gets an for... award. And then I'll... At least two years. <laughs> it gets, gets an award. Um, worst <laughs> music score slash mis mixing of music. I don't really quite know how to explain it, but the music was weird. Like, some bits are really loud for no apparent reason when nothing's happening. Other bits are quiet when stuff is happening. And it doesn't really fit together. And I can't really explain it, but it really annoyed me. Like, to the point where I, I looked in the credits who was to blame. Um, I have their names. Uh, there's, their two the <laughs> there's two people. There's two people. I won't mention them now. Paul. Oh, I can't remember the other one's name. <laughs> yeah, I have them written now. down. I can't remember them. <laughs> well, apparently one of them is an award-winning like composer. I, I assume it's like one of those taking part awards that... You know, I won't go into that anymore. Maybe they cut um, all those bits out. Like it was originally an hour longer with all the good music, and they were just like, ah, just scrap all that off. And you're left with all this. But it wasn't even the music bad. It was just, it was so weirdly implemented into the film. It's just the mixing, I think. It's just terrible. Oh. I just, I fucking hate it. Different I do ones. find that with a lot of films, though. Like, do you find in the cinema, like, I know everyone complains about this about Christopher Nolan in particular. He's like really bad for it. Like, er like, Everything's really dialogue. loud, and then Gary Oldman, yeah. you can't even hear him. <laughs> yeah, what but is he that with deliberate. sound mixing lately in movies? It tries. Know, there was crazy. an article about it once, yeah. and I don't know if it's to do with like the like the way it's done for release, like in cinemas and things like that. Like I don't know. There was a whole article about it. It was going like really detail and like technical, but there was like a bunch of reasons for it. I don't know. It's it's weird. <laughs> I th there I are think some movies where I'm things. going between like seventy five and thirty. Mm. Like, yeah. I, like I'm constantly hitting volume. I can't hear what they're talking. Now this music gets too loud. It's I don't know what's going There's on. There's some TVs that can like um automatically like change it for you now, which is weird. It's like we shouldn't need that. <laughs> you yeah. know, they should do their fucking job properly. That's what they should do. <laughs> that, I, yeah, I no, watch a lot of subtitles for things that I watch TV. now, and my my dad's always like, "Why are you watching with subtitles?" I'm like, "Cause I I put it on like quieter yeah. for like when it's really loud, and then when people start talking, I can't hear them." <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, no, we did, we by did the way, same. Obviously, we got a little one upstairs up to time. So. Someone said Gary Oldman a minute ago, and um, I think you mm. mean Big Mo's brother. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to correct you. But... <laughs> you got that ready for any moment. <laughs> there I have no images to see of Mo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sound, sound aside, yeah, no um, there's another bit I really hated, which was the interview bit at the end. Did that remind anybody else of the bit in Spider Man 3 with the. Um, I think you mean the greatest <laughs> yeah. moment in cinema of all time. <laughs> See, that's yeah, the shit he, I like. Yeah. It's, like yeah. <laughs> it's like so cat. He, 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 he did pretty much turn into emo Spider Man, yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love, yeah. I'm love. i the only person in the world who seems to have loved emo, emo Spider Man. Like, a douche billionaire. I loved it then, I love it now. <laughs> so many memes. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? I think I pretty much covered most of it, to be honest. But um, the guy, the the carer guy, like the main character, um, he's actually a producer and a writer. God, God help us all. Um, <laughs> and he has produced such classics as um, Winnie the Pooh, uh, Blood and Honey, and oh. Dino Hotel. <laughs> two. He's starring in part two as well. Yeah, <laughs> But not Dino yeah. Hotel 1. <laughs> No, he he was. Dino <laughs> yeah, was that's, the king. Thing, eh? that's it. That instantly just <coughs> puts my mood up. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I need think to watch Dino uh, Hotel One. <laughs> well, the hate is very uh, shameful, you know. Leading yeah. off the page. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Taz, what are your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was kind of funny. It was it was a little bit. Like goofy at times, I kind of like that though. Um, I love the dramatic opening credits. You got the like, I like the music in that. That was pretty good. Um, You're wrong. And I, 
<laughs> I, I'm happy to be wrong. Okay, I'm always wrong. Um, I was I was actually re- I actually really liked the guy who played Rob. I think his name is Scott Chambers. Um, I just I felt immediately quite attached to him. Like the second he found out he got hey. like a job interview and stuff, I was like, oh, he's so happy. <laughs> I don't know. I just I kind of bond- pack bonded with him. I was like, I like him a lot. Are you still quite ill? Or are you okay now? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Hey, I'm always like just this. That up. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know, I'm always like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've seen far worse now. Okay, I've seen worse. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think of the um, films we've even seen on this podcast. A lot worse. <laughs> yeah, we've seen. I, seen like it, I mean, it's it's the cocaine shark, but you know, <laughs> or the baby. <laughs> See, the I'm baby was a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying cocaine. I love shark. the baby. No, no, I don't well, think I was here for that one. Um, but the baby was before my time, I think, on the podcast. Um, the old podcast, you, that you trust me. <coughs> so oh, I really love when uh, Rob is snooping around and finds that phone where his name is put in as Criminal Boy. <laughs> 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 that was kind of great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Also, fuck Maeve. Fuck Maeve. She's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah absolutely hate her <laughs> she she got what she deserved <laughs> yeah she was a um total piece but of i crap. actually quite enjoy that it's a sad ending like i wasn't actually expecting it to be so the fact that no one wins that was kind of cool but i mm. felt kind of sad after i was like oh that's a bummer <laughs> yeah uh, i i quite enjoyed it so sorry now <laughs> once Good again power. we disagree <laughs> <laughs> nothing new there that was quite eye-opening Okay. Okay. Um, Hunter, your thoughts on this one? All right, I'm going to go with Team Taz. As you should. I I, at the end of every year, I do a top 13 horror movies, and my friends at the Final Guys, we we've been talking about. We're all we're doing is Phantasm, (laughs) Phantasm Two. There's like nothing of value to even watch this year. So I was like, all right, a Hammer movie, and Eddie Izzard, or as we call him here in America, Izzard. Which is gross. Sounds like lizard. Um, I was like, "All right, I'm I'm, I'm down for this." <laughs> so, I I had a blast with this movie. Like, I think Eddie Izzard was mesmerizing in this from start to finish, especially towards like the last, the third act, just going off, just getting weird and weirder and weirder as it goes on. I'm like, I love that performance. Thought the kid. Who, but did you notice his name was Robert Louis Stevenson? Mm-hmm. Which is, yeah, the name of the original author, yeah. Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde. I thought he God, was endearing. They're fucking geniuses. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How did they figure that? How did they pull that one out? That's uh, so when you realize it's pure accident. They're like, oh shit. Yeah, that. I think I felt that lucky. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a Hammer movie in the fact that they had the old estate. You had the mm-hmm. old estate. You had some weirdness going on. You don't have a lot of blood and guts, which you never really did back in Hammer. In the seventies, you had drugs and, and boobs, um, but this is nice. Kind of a callback to classic Hammer. Um, I just I enjoyed this from start to finish, and I have not enjoyed a new horror movie <laughs> all year. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I can maybe put this on the list for consideration at the end of the year. But uh, I like, by the way, now I'm sorry. I like the music. Oh my god! <laughs> I like what the setting. Happening? I like the performances. <laughs> I just had fun with it. It just gave me some like good old fashioned vibes. Had you been drinking? No, I hadn't. I am <laughs> tonight. Had, had, maybe that was the problem. <laughs> Everyone's <then. laughs> drunk. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm like <laughs> yeah, exactly. six deep tonight. But I liked it when I saw it the other night. Don't go sober. <laughs> You're gonna wake up tomorrow and you go, oh shit! I had a terrible dream that I, I went on a podcast last night and I said <laughs> that, that Dr. Jack Mark, can you read back that? That's good. <laughs> no, seriously, I really enjoyed this movie so much so that a friend of mine who's a Hammer enthusiast, uh, I said, dude, you gotta watch this movie, and he he was just like, oh my god, thank you so much for sending this over. So, two Hammer people, but then again. Niall, I'm old. I'm an old man, you know. So it's no gave me old man vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so old man vibes digged. I like the idea of Dr. Jekyll being Nina Jekyll. Love that whole concept. But I, I'm telling you, what made that movie? That movie would probably be garbage if Eddie Izzard wasn't in it. 
I think oh yeah pulled the whole thing off from start to finish so loved it cool. now this is the one I'm, I'm not too sure on Marcus what are your <laughs> thoughts on this one <laughs> you see what you jumping into <laughs> What do you think I think of it? Do you well, think I like it or do not? Easily swayed. Oh, you're, at the moment, it's yeah, you're, you're, you're very you're easily swayed. Yeah. <laughs> right. I was, was going to say you really like this film. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Fucking hated it. Right. Now, um, now, now okay. remember, so, remember your your marriage <laughs> depends on this. Yeah. My marriage depends on this. What? Don't ask how, but it does. <laughs> it does. Okay. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> it's not worth it, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I was going to make a joke but I'm not going to comment on my marriage stuff in case Ali does watch this um, <laughs> so before I get into whatever I like to film or not looks to the side like <laughs> oh she's not here tonight no she's she's um, at her so it's fine I can speak freely um, right, so. that's what Mel Gibson used to say <laughs> yeah, yeah you'll enough. get back. It might take twelve years, but you'll make it back, Marcus. Say whatever you want. <laughs> okay, right. Before I get into the film, uh, well, what I thought about the film, uh, Scott Chambers. Now, this is an interesting fun fact of the film: is the son of a plumber who's mates with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say like a nepo baby or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, the producer oh, of Dino Hotel too. <laughs> oh, the one and only. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> when I was eating, when I was eating dinner earlier, yeah, I was like, oh, so what was the films you um you have to review tonight? So I mentioned this one, and he's like, oh, that's the one that's got uh Scott Chambers in it. Is it? I was like, I think so, yeah. One of the characters, like, yeah, yeah, that's so and so son. I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about as that fun as that. He could be in the poo. <laughs> Six yeah, that's what he said. Well. Scott Chambers. Yeah, do you know what? That's changed my opinion on it now. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> there you go. Now I know. I'm biddable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah, there you go. He's a lovely uh, actor and uh, his dad's a plumber. So, I think, wait, it's a plumber? I think so. Nice. Does a there was job. a toilet scene in this. So, that makes sense. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Just sort of give him a nudge, like, come on, dad, give you a job, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this the toilet scene where she throw up? In the, yes. Just, uh, yeah, that one. It's like, yeah. get out, thieving. Which, by the way, oh, the movie yeah, I saw today, Immaculate, there was a toilet scene with not only like a lot of vomit, but reaching in and like putting your hands through the vomit to find a tooth. I was like, oh. oh like the whole God. theater was like, oh. Stop. Like there is, I can handle all the gore oh. in the world, but that shit like that is just, nah. <laughs> it, was, it was so disgusting. <laughs> that when people like, Cough up hair or stuff, you know, like the last uh, one where they watched. pull stuff out. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> no, yeah, that's pretty horrible. But if you want something else that'll gross you out, um, yeah. last time I drank quite heavily, <laughs> I threw up, um, in a bowl. And where I was so bad, uh, Ali fortunately looked, up, looked after me, she was also drunk and decided, uh, to try and <laughs> the sink. And all these chunks of pizza and all sorts are just blocking oh. the drink. Oh. She went and got gloves on and had to scoop it all out because I was just dead to the world. Oh. <laughs> go and flush it out the toilet. I woke up in the morning like, oh, what happened? She just looked at me and went, no. Horrors. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Next time, so, yeah, puke in uh, a bag. Anyway, you, you still can't make it. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, the, the, the film. <laughs> Oh yeah, the film, right? So, um, it right. talks about plumbers. Right. I'm gonna go to get a drink really quickly because that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually like this film, but not to the degree that some of you lot did. Uh, it was an easy watch. You lied. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay, right. It was okay as a film. Uh, there, there was a bit of comedy to it. I did like it? It, sort of in the second half of the film, as it's <laughs> right. <laughs> Get back to your volcano, though. No. <laughs> All right. Um, it got a little bit more ramped up in the second half, and I liked that. Uh, but yeah, as an overall, I do see what Nile meant about the acting. I have seen better. Um, I feel like from Scott Chambers' character, there wasn't a lot of emotion that was shown. Uh, the scene when he gets locked out uh, while everyone's getting <laughs> killed, it, yeah. it's almost like you have to be prompted to start bashing on the door and crying. Before that, it's just like, yeah, I'm fine. Oh yeah, shit. Oh yeah, I'm upset now, and just I don't know. It just felt it didn't feel as good as I had seen in the past. Um, 
also the jump scares they were just shit <laughs> there wasn't really any good ones in there the scene where he's trying to unlock the door to get in and snoop around which i don't know why he was doing considering he'd just been told cameras are going to watch him all the time and then <laughs> dr jekyll's just standing behind him like you would hear uh you know them scampering about upstairs they can't walk properly got a massive cane how did you not notice and he just sort of turns around it's like oh hey hey how you doing she's like lunch yeah right and they just don't speak about it ever again it's, it's weird um yeah, easy watch. Not the best film, but it was all right. You look annoyed, Mark. That's what they're going to put <laughs> no, on. No, no. <laughs> You're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you keep talking. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I really like. I really enjoyed this, and no, no, it's just because we had a little because he saw my Twitter post. Uh, <laughs> so, so it's a comment on it. Um, that's why I knew. No, I would hate this. Film. Um. <laughs> A good humor to it, and Eddie Izzard did really well. Uh, she, she, she was like, like Hunter said, she made this movie. If it didn't have her in it, then it wouldn't have worked. Um, mm. It has that kind of gothic feel to it, which is nice. Yeah, okay, that's name great, but then some of the Hammer horror films that acting weren't great. You know. Some, <laughs> some, most, oh my most. God. <laughs> Yeah, and we watched a lot of we, we, we and we've watched some Hammer Horror on this podcast, and we love a bit of Hammer Horror. Um, Hammer time. No, I I like the take on it. I like how they've gone a little bit different with it. It's not too, you know, shamey, <laughs> <laughs> and it's different. I liked it. Made me laugh. Didn't particularly, you know, like the end of it though. The the ending kind of slightly ruins it. You would have at least hope that the daughter would have been <laughs> would have survived it. But, no, I thought yeah. that was savage. I like that. <laughs> Not that yeah, I like no, just I, babies. Just I like clear. that too. Yeah, you did I, baby. <laughs> he was just so douchebaggy in the end. I was like, can you tone it down a notch a little bit? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can you expect from a plumber's son? <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it, it was um it's probably one of my favorite ones I've seen on the podcast for a while. So no, definitely highly recommend it. Yeah, when and... I saw the movie, I'm like, am I supposed to be on this episode? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to give you right shit to Like, watch. you're always like, break glass in case Taz, Niall, and Marcus <laughs> don't want to watch. <laughs> it's very rare that Taz doesn't want to watch it. <laughs> so, to be I, fair, I was, this whole we film, don't want to. We have to. I was thinking, oh, do, I might be ill. I'll try and be ill. <laughs> and that way, I don't have to talk about it. <laughs> Calling in sick to work. <laughs> yeah. I can't watch the films this week. I'm too ill. <laughs> if you've already watched it, you might as well come and slag it off. The, the, the best episodes we do is when you rant about them, so it's great. Can't, can't, can't all be one hour photo. <laughs> can't all be one hour photo and, you know, Grave Encounters 2. Great film. Same as Great film. That'd be good. That's well, I'll, I'll have a look at Shudder before we, before we finish this. I'll have a look at Shudder. Um, no, I'll keep it up in it. <laughs> uh, I, never, I, I have no intention of ever watching this film again, so it's in the bin. Yeah. I, I, just the bin or incinerate? I don't hate it that much. It's like, really? Basically, <laughs> this film to me was basically Marcus's opinion on this film. It was just mid. There you go. Because you, you chucked <laughs> a lot of hate its way. With your notes. Yeah, this now is... you've gone to mid. Have we convinced you that it's better than, it, than you thought? No, I just I, I basically feel like I'm at a pub trying to start a fight and my friends are holding me back. That's how I feel. <laughs> You're I feel like, like <laughs> yeah, mate, right, <laughs> yeah, I've expelled too much energy on it already. I, <laughs> I can't. You've like <sighs> given up now. You've like, yeah, yeah. yeah. you've resigned yourself. Like it's fine. As Big Mo would say, let the anger leave out. It <laughs> or whatever Big that Mo was me, uh, That was me St. Patrick's Day. I, I, I prevented <laughs> a huge brawl because I'm like, I'm fucked. I am too freaking drunk right now. <laughs> I don't want to get involved in this. <laughs> and that's how I looked at the moment, too. <laughs> As keep it open. I'm keeping it. I'll probably watch it again. <laughs> cool. Uh, no, I was like, what the fuck? Um, 
would you, would you, would you, would you, would you keep this film? Or would you I'll keep it. I would watch. Look, I've already shared it. So yeah, I'd yeah. watch this again for sure. Marcus, keep up in it. He'll neither I'll keep nor I would have watched this again. It, it was okay, but it was more of a. Mm, I've seen it now. I'm, I'm not really bothered. <laughs> I will keep this. I like. There we go. We it. win. I, 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 would, I would. I would watch it. Multiple. Top row wins. <laughs> That's why <laughs> we're on the top. See? Hell yeah. We're here just holding them up now. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Niall's been so upset by this movie, flames are shooting out of his head this entire time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, actually. Hang on. There Can you go. get animated? That you time? carry on. Just <laughs> be in for the next 20 minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's looking for. Oh, no, you, you right, guys carry so... on. <laughs> he's searching. So going on to our, we won't be hearing him, him for the rest of the episode now. <laughs> I have a background suit for this next film. Hang on a second. Oh, oh there you go. Can't wait. Let me upload. Is it this? Is it this? <laughs> is it Juggalo? <laughs> oh, oh I've got many back. pictures in the background. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's because last, oh, to... last time we were talking about Juggalos, weren't we? And we Juggalo were, Island. We were... Juggalo Island. Yeah, you remember? The paradise for Juggalos. There's an island of Juggalos? Yeah. Well, it's not really in an island. They were going to have it on an island, but then they ran out of money, so they just had it in a like a field in um, Ohio, I think. <laughs> oh God, Ohio! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As you do. Right. Are you ready to go on to the next film? No, I'll get me to put to uh, you know. This is not working. He's searching. Nile searching. Uh, no, I'm okay. I'm ready. I can do this. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Why is mine? Then let's go to our next film. So our second film, you're going to get deep, deep into the woods that are lovely, dark, and they're deep. It's lovely, dark, and deep. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> that actually works. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how perfectly yeah. that fits. That's so good. <laughs> That's like the first one I found as well. Mine doesn't want to work. <laughs> oh. Okay. So um, lovely, dark, and deep. A backcountry ranger travels through a dangerous wilderness, having to uncover the origins of a tragedy that's haunted her since she was a child. Um, I'm going to go to, for a change, Marcus first. I'm never going to Marcus first. So Marcus, oh, he's going to have to be background. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I'll, I'll wait for you to, I'll, I'll, if you want me to wait, do your background. I'll go to Chaz first. Uh, it's not working. I'm clicking on it and it just, it's oh, done the little. It? Blue box. Taz, <laughs> what are your thoughts on the movie? I mean, it was okay. Um, I think I preferred Doctor Jekyll <laughs> quite a lot more. Um, I do love Georgina Campbell though, because obviously she's great. Um, oh. she's I loved her in Barbarian. Uh, she was in the show I was watching as well. She's really good in that. Um, my I've got here early thoughts. Wow, there sure are a lot of trees. <laughs> there were a lot of trees. <laughs> There are a lot of trees. Lot of trees. trees. So many trees. Look at the trees there. By the so way, <laughs> they shot that in Portugal. Yeah, in that Portugal, is really? nothing like the trees in the national parks here in the, <laughs> in the states. I mean, you can't see sunlight if you walk for days Niall. because of the trees. Sorry, I'm going <laughs> through my my images, and apparently, Look, if you want to watch that movie, I have the link. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so I would like to watch that. Um, you've film? not seen that. No, That's not yet. Great. It was on at Fright Fest and I didn't get to see it because I was watching something else. Um, but yeah. Uh, I do love the shots of the trees where, you know, the one the shot that shows up a lot in the film where it's like looking mm. up. That was really cool. Mm, yeah. Um, apart from a lot of the events in this film, I think I'd actually really like to be a ranger. It looks kind of chill at first. <laughs> uh, until it's not. <laughs> um, but it's a real slow burn. Um, mm. I, I think when like all the stuff is happening where she's like trapped in whatever and it all gets kind of weird and uncanny and i love that bit it starts to get kind of disturbing it just takes way too long to get there <laughs> um, so i'm not in love with this film but i do like the music um it does a good job of building up the atmosphere um but this is <laughs> i right here it's like the second film in a year that i've seen this is really specific, where the protagonist takes on a patrol job to figure out how their sibling went missing in a forest. 
Because <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's also did that. <laughs> <laughs> this one was better. This one was better. <laughs> um, but holy shit, I can't believe she gave into the forest at the end and like let that guy be taken. Like that's rude. <laughs> hey, yeah, want to fit in? <laughs> yeah, want to be part yeah. of the in crowd? <laughs> uh, Hunter, your thoughts? Okay, I I love. Is it Georgina Campbell? Is that her mm -hmm. name? Okay, so I loved her in *Barbarians*. I thought that was I, that movie was great. She, and by the way, she reminds me of my uh, former boss. So I was like, <laughs> "Oh, I'm hanging out with my former boss, who was ex-military and just a badass, but super tiny." Um, I love, I love the look of this movie. Um, it was hard to tell that it wasn't in an American forest at first. So I was like, "Oh, this is really cool." I have a my one of my best friends was studying to be a forest ranger. So I was like, all right, so I'm I'm interested in that. And he always tells me about stuff about, you know, my, he lives up in the middle of nowhere. And then I was like, oh God, yeah, this is why I wouldn't want to be a forest ranger. Like I you glamorize it in your head, and then you see the actual, oh God, I'm out in the middle of the night trying to find a place to stay. Nobody talks about bears in this movie. I'm sorry, in America, all you worry about is bears and bobcats. Um where I, was I thinking, live, like her little hut thing that she stays in. I was like, those walls are thin. A bear could probably get through that. Why, why were those walls see through? What the I hell? Know, you could see through. through. I was like, what the fuck? It looked <laughs> like a roach motel. I don't know what that was. What it was made of? <laughs> it looked I like mean, cardboard. <laughs> Ray Ranger stations are usually like you know wood. <laughs> so <laughs> that was kind of weird. Um, I really like this movie. This this movie is like a creeping dread kind of movie, professionally done. Uh, she carries the whole movie on her shoulders from start to end. And anybody who can do that, like she did, thumbs up to you. Um, I will tell you this. In the very beginning, when she starts, when she gets her station in, in the, what is it? Was it the Outback? What do they call that? The Deep Woods? I forget, whatever. But when she first goes and she goes on her hike, I saw she was like uh, reading uh, Missing 411. And then she was listening to these podcasts about Missing 411. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that. Um, it's a series of books written by a former policeman. And it's just laid out people who disappear in the, the forest, the national forest here in America, just like a police report. And it's, some, it's 400 pages each. And I read them and you're riveted and you're trying to find what's the connection between all of them. So once I saw that, my nipples popped through my shirt and through the blanket <laughs> And into the pillow that I was <laughs> hugging close to me. Because I love this kind of stuff. So I'm thinking, oh, we're going Bigfoot territory, maybe. Or something stranger. They went stranger, which is, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely stranger. <laughs> that is so <laughs> weird. Um, I, I agree. When she, when, she, when she starts, like, she's stuck in that weird kind of, like, altar world. I was like, oh, where the hell is this? where is this going? Like, I don't like being stuck in loops, so I did not enjoy that as much as I should have. But once it was explained and what happened with her, and then what she eventually just told that guy, uh, yeah, I'm not real. This is not real. So yeah, see you later. I gotta go. Totally understood it. So I got it, and I really like the ending. I like the amb amb ambiguity of it, um, but I thought it was. Again, you saved me. I do a podcast every Tuesday. I haven't seen you guys in a while, and you give me two movies that are going <laughs> to... At least they're in my book. To hey, make look, me. you did Frogman last... Was it last week? What did we do? Oh, Frogman. Yeah, see, that's Frogman, what we're yeah. used to doing. Frogman. <laughs> and I see Mark in there. I'm like, what? The, shouldn't he be asleep? What is he? <laughs> it is very <laughs> late. It's so late. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like this. So there, there are two movies that I like. I prefer Dr. Jekyll to this, but I, I really like this. And like I said, if you show Missing 411 in any movie, I'm already 70% in. Like, you're going to have to really fuck it up really bad for me to bail out. So I dug it. <laughs> Don't leave not to last. He's in, the, he's in the forest. I think he's lost. Yeah, okay. okay. Marcus, you're <laughs> Um, I couldn't get my background to work. I did send it to Nal if he does want to use it because uh, it's very fitting for this uh, this it? movie name. But... 
WhatsApp. Anyway, um, this film, I actually did like it quite a bit. Um, I've always been a fan. What? 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 I am not putting that on my screen. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> no, What's happened to me? What's happened to me? I'll see if I can put it on. Oh, you'll put it on. Yeah. <laughs> I tried for a solid like seven minutes and it just wouldn't work. So I think because um I had an upload limit on there, I had to remove one and it's just bugged out. So I don't want to risk refreshing my page or anything. Yeah. Um shall I wait till you send that to Mark? <laughs> No, you carry on. Okay, so tweet so. it to me. I can be easier to put it onto the big screen. <laughs> oh, even <Carry> better. <laughs> um, right. So, I've always been a fan of any sort of film that involves woods or you know just wood, strange shit like what went on here, he missing wood. people, etc. Um, I just want more. This wood. one. Well, there's there's <laughs> loads of trees. It's a tick in the box. Uh, it, I didn't like the second half of the film though. Uh, it started off really well. They introduced the characters slowly, but not too slow. Uh, you got a little bit of the history. They didn't spell it out for you, but they gave you enough information for you to piece it together yourself. So I didn't feel like I was being treated like an idiot as an audience member. Um, it's when the main character went into that alternate world and started walking through endless doorways and stuff that to me just sort of killed it a little bit because I thought you've got this great concept of mystery and you've just thrown such a basic stereotype for horror into there it, it's not really anything new <laughs> so, as you see i really wish my background works <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Should we wait for him to come back? <laughs> no, just carry on. <laughs> Show must go on. <laughs> I think we've killed oh. Mark. <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> yes, Are is. you gonna put on? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Flat refusal. <laughs> Look at your mark. <laughs> you saving it. History, yeah. Saving it to yeah. desktop. Hey kids, look what Marcus <laughs> sent me last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So okay, if you're not gonna um show that, I will briefly describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Do not describe that. Bro, I'm not getting demonetized. <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting right. I won't go into that detail. Don't worry. There is simply six people. Five of them are men, and one of them is a lady. And the lady just so happens to be sitting in front of the five men. Now, if you have a filthy mind, you will know exactly what image I'm on about. <laughs> but I thought it was very fitting giving the movie title name. <coughs> I'll say it in the WhatsApp group after. <laughs> Oh my god, is that why it's called that? That makes sense. <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> Back to the film. Uh, yeah, they, they sort of... It, it unraveled a bit for me near the second half of the film. Uh, once they put all the weird doorways and shit, it just felt too generic for me. Um, and the ending was just brutal, where she does just let that guy get taken by whatever weird paranormal shit's going on. Um, it does make me question, what's the point of having rangers there, if you're just going to yeah. let people go? But, um, well, yeah, it was a good film. a lot. Just random. Every yeah. now and then. <laughs> <Not one. laughs> just so Taz yeah. can see. Yeah. I'll send it to the group chat. <laughs> your wife's going to look at your phone and be like, what the fuck? Oh no, it's getting deleted. <laughs> I've never seen Taz pick up a phone faster. <laughs> <laughs> and the great and thing is we're... everyone knows and now, him. And now we're sent Hunter. I was like, who oh, yeah, doesn't know? <laughs> oh, surely Hunter's oh. seen this before. Probably. Uh, the, there the you brief go. Bit, I, I just sent you a tweet. Yeah, whatever you've put, I've seen worse. Trust me. I watched the movie <laughs> Eels, know. Eels, Eels on videotape in the 80s. You're not oh, going to beat that, that one. A German production. 
Oh, it's no, German. it's uh, relevant it's to German. nothing. It's saying it's that's the bar. If you've seen <laughs> eels, 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 nothing shocks you. You're done. <laughs> You're bur- it's burned. Go Mark on next week, uh, next month. <laughs> Your shock is burned. Trust me. But Mark, send it to me. <laughs> no, on the eels, I'll, eels, I'll eels barometer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it to you, don't worry. <laughs> right. Would you have had to edit it out if I put that on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's no so fun. It too, that's so why it won't work. The thing is though, the ironic thing is where the sofa is your head would have been, where the mic would have been. That's why I put it purposely so I would sit like there. <laughs> it's a dream of his. <laughs> <laughs> you would Maybe one day, that would definitely would have been that would definitely would have been lovely dark and deep <laughs> lovely dark and deep oh. uh, yeah film film was good it's just that second bit I didn't really like wow sorry that was a really long winded uh... <laughs> <laughs> <Don't scare. laughs> oh my god oh, oh, shop. <laughs> no, oh, no don't do that uh... <laughs> sorry I was just doing the jump scare noises <laughs> Uh, I thought who have who have asked now, Mark Nile. Did you just say your own name? <laughs> no, I don't know anymore. Sure. <laughs> that your turn. All these Mark. memories brought back. Yeah, I did some more notes. Uh, no, You're lucky my <laughs> backgrounds are broken. I have more. Oh what? no! You, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can knock them out of Streamyard. By the way, <laughs> just so you know, I've been knocked out of StreamYard many times on my own show. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> just go on. Make some miss. I'm trying to do that for you. Oh, he's back. <laughs> no, your thoughts. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> You've got Not a photo. <laughs> Um, I don't get the title. It's from a poem. Is that why? Is that why? Yeah. Well, well, no. You see, right? It's fine. That guy. No, I get, I get that one. Marcus has described that one in detail with me. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what yeah. you're on about. We went to the pub last week, me and Marcus. <laughs> he did, and he wouldn't shut yeah. up about it. <laughs> yeah, a bit. It's the whole time. <laughs> oh wait, what of the? Of the phone uh, photo or the film, or you the know mix? what I'm talking about. The photo. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can remind the video me of the detail. photo that you said. <laughs> He's like, look at this. Oh. Just so much detail. It's HD. <laughs> Zooming in as well. Just like, look at this. You're still holding up to your oh, face though, which is geez. what I found a bit weird. <laughs> um, yeah, well, anyway. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Um, it's got Tess from Barbarian in it, and it just made me want to watch Barbarian instead of this film because this film, yeah, me too. I was like, Oh, yeah, I do love it. This film, I'm sorry, I found incredibly boring. Um, I'm so shocked at the beginning of it. <laughs> like, she just turns up the woods, and everybody's like, Oh, hi, how are you doing? She's like, Yeah, oh, yeah, she's like really rude to that one guy. <laughs> She like, was tough to why? like in the beginning. It was tough to yeah. be on her side. Like, it's like he's being I've friendly. down here. <laughs> Instead of lovely, dark, whatever, it should have been called boring people being bored in the woods, <laughs> which I think was a much more catchy and descriptive title for the film. Um, I'll make a post you, Marcus, you? <laughs> I don't know how she got the job either, because she couldn't even sit through the intro bit. She was so bored out of her mind. That she couldn't even listen to the safety thing. She was just—I like, would say preoccupied <laughs> with her own. Yeah, dark, I've been using that excuse thoughts. for years. <laughs> 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 um, the other bugbear, and I'm—I'm I'm sorry to the Americans in the, the American? uh, podcast today. Ameri- <laughs> well, I don't know what Marcus is, so I've, I've left that vague. <laughs> um, no, not, he's not one of us. <laughs> no one will have me. We, we, we say that so often. <laughs> um, yet I'm still here. It's great. <laughs> True. I don't um, know why. Yeah. Now do we? <laughs> 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 Only joking. Um, there's two English tourists who are pretending to be American tourists for no apparent reason. Well, see, so here's where you're wrong. In America, 
<laughs> There's everybody. Everybody. Like where I used to live, on a, I had six houses on my street. Every nationality, pr probably in America, was represented in that one dead-end street. So it happens. Fine. And I lived in an all-Irish <laughs> neighborhood at one point. Everyone had a brogue. I thought my parents were retarded that they couldn't speak like Irish people. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? You, go, you don't sound like the other people. Grandma and grandpa sound them. like this. Why don't you? Everyone sounds like this. Why don't you sound like this? It was an uh, issue. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else happened? Oh, yeah, she got bollocked for finding that woman, mm -hmm. um, which annoyed me because um, they told her to go find the woman. And then when she found the woman, they were like, <gasps> You found the woman. You they told to her not to. They told her to wait. They told, oh, they her, tell her, to her not sit. to. Yeah, they oh, told that's how much I zoned out. Okay. That's why I may have... off because she found out the secrets. Oh, I may have zoned out during the film. You did. Mm. That's not a great sign. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Instantly blames the film. Sleeping like, well, 15 minutes that's in. That's their fault. <laughs> um, right. Um, I couldn't work out whether it was actually meant to be a horror film or not. Because... Um, a deer standing in front of the car is not is not scary. I just want to put that out there. They did it about five times. Yeah, no, they're not scary. They're, that's not scary. Like I drove past a deer on my way home, like last week, and I did I you hit it. I wasn't scared. Like I generally, I know it's bad. We have a pack um, of like twenty we feed every day. <coughs> yeah, deer's are nice. So they're awesome until you hit them, them, and then it sucks. Oh, yeah. They'll write your car off. They will. Um, okay, my main bugbear, other than this film being boring, is it's just a load of tropes and scenes from other films that are better that they've stolen. So, like, I've got a feeling they may have watched Midsummer before they started making this. So there's a lot of flip upside down shots, and it just reminded me of that. And that flooded basement bit from it. There was that bit in the bedroom oh. that made me think, this is this is that bit in the oh. basement. Yeah. I've heard people compare it to In the Earth, but I haven't seen that, so I can't comment on it. <laughs> but I've heard people say like compare that to this. Yeah. Huh. But there was loads of little bits like that where I thought, I've seen that somewhere before. But no, I haven't seen this film before. I've erased it because I can cannot stand that book. Or the movies or the miniseries. Oh. I thoroughly hate it. <laughs> the reason being because he was Stephen King was full on Coke when he wrote that. And I'm a, I've been around a lot of Cokeheads and I can't fucking stand their rambling. And I'm like, <laughs> it is the rambling of a Cokehead. And if Stephen King is watching. Can you go back on the Coke, please? Stephen King, by the way, you can go back. <laughs> uh, and, and like his let, solution. Let, let, let's be honest. I've, I've been doing bloody good reads for long enough. Slagging so off Stephen King. I ain't watching this. <laughs> yeah, Mike Parker on at some point as well. But like he's he coming was, on this podcast, he was doing so many rails that he writes this fourteen hundred page book and says, "I can resolve this with pulling a train on a twelve year old girl." Done. And I'm like, "Bingo!" Then they have an orgy at the end as well. Yeah. It gets weird when it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at it. the end of the book, they have an orgy. I, I swear, they all have sex with a twelve year old girl. Yeah, that's his solution. And I'm like, awesome. "You're a jerk," because you had sons. I had daughters, <laughs> and I think yeah. a different way. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever read The Stand? Yes. I, I have the extended version somewhere right behind me. See, I like that book, but it's so long, and the ending is so stupid. <laughs> that it annoys me. It goes, I don't know how to wrap this book up. Oh, nuclear bomb. Yes. Got it. Yes. <laughs> Drink another case what? of beer and do a couple of lines. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how does the bomb go off? God. God will do it. Yep. Done. <laughs> um, there's a line in the film where she asks um, the the old lady ranger. The old lady ranger says, um, they're bringing us into the world, into this world. And she says, who are these people who are bringing us into this world? And she says, who knows? And I thought, who cares? And that's when I knew 
<laughs> that I didn't give a crap about this film anymore. <laughs> oh, no, a lot of people will side with you on that. A lot of people don't like ambiguity. Like, what? Give me an answer. And they took too <laughs> big a risk, I think, with something slow paced, as slow paced as it is. I think if they had quickened it up a little bit and made it a bit easier to understand, I think it would have been fine. But as it is at the moment, it's just too much of a slog. So, yeah, that's my verdict. I get there you. you go. Yeah, Again, very tame. Yeah. Just you know hold what? me back, Marcus. <laughs> you know what? For, one, for, for a rare, rare occasion, I'm going to agree with Nar. Ooh. I, so it's either day. <laughs> You've seen the lights. You square to the bottom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just found it boring. I, I'm not a huge fan of wood woodland based movies. I actually thought no, I would like this out of all the ones we've done. Because oh, the woods you know, look good. I like a good yeah. wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <The> visual, <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Not the visual that Marcus said, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, th there's there's scenes in this that look good, like the scene that Taz was saying about where with the way the trees kind of bend in on each other. But you see that quite a lot in movies like this. Then you have kind of scenes like this one with that, which does look pretty creepy. I like that. AI. That was pretty creepy. That was AI. AI. Yeah. This thing. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, Everybody panic. Um, I, I, no, just nobody was like a warden's movie. She irritates me. It goes into that weird kind of different dimensional time loop crap. The old couple pissed me off. I just don't. Poor old so I don't know. normally. Wait, they, they you didn't fun. like her even as she got prettier and let the hair down? Did you notice that? Like the hair was <laughs> up and it's like time to get pretty. Hair's down. <laughs> I, I'm getting deeper into these woods. I need to take my hair down. I gotta take my hair down. <laughs> I'm not it's gonna say what I'm thinking. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but no, I the other way around. <clears throat> um <laughs> uh, well, uh... I, I'm gonna make this. <laughs> and I, it's a, I'm gonna go straight away and go, and it's unbinnable. So, <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> wow, no, it de it's definitely binnable. Um, no, no, take well, it back. Would, would, would not watch this again at all. Hated this one, hated um, Hate. hated it, hated it. It bored oh, the yes. fuck out. Capital I feel hate. myself becoming stronger. Oh. <laughs> it is rare. It is rare. You're definitely weakened agree. by Dr. Jekyll, so this is a good turnaround <laughs> yeah. for you. <laughs> Converted Dr. Jekyll, amazing show. Love Dr. Jekyll. Um, but no, this one would not. I regret picking this one. Ooh, uh, wow. Yeah. Really? Um, watch Cocaine Shark. I'll rather watch that Cocaine was Shark than watch this again. I'd watch Cocaine Shark again. <laughs> What is wrong with all you? On Coke as well. <laughs> all right, you guys uh, are yeah. doing Coke. You're all Stephen King. Stephen King style. <laughs> I know what's yeah. going on. <laughs> Except Taz. Um, Taz has sense. I do. She's on my box. That's why I bring me on here. Because <laughs> it's, it's the... Um... Oh, no, I won't do that. <laughs> it's right. getting very dark. So... <laughs> anyway. I didn't expect well, it to end Andy. this way. Andy. Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, binge Brilliant. for me. I'm gonna keep it up in here. Oh, did you see me? I'm keeping this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Taz, keep it up in it. I didn't hate it, but I think I'll bin it based on the fact that I don't <gasps> think I'd watch it again. Power. This is rough. <laughs> I thought I Taz it. and I were connected. <laughs> now I feel I don't know what's going on. What if I put it teetering on the edge of the bin like I usually do? It's very rare no, that I bin stuff. It's on the corner of the bin. I'll do no, that. Yeah, no. like if I fall in, I won't you, mind you if it does. Last right. week. <laughs> yeah. You did it last week. We did it this week. If I came Come over with two bottles of wine row. and said, "Let's watch this movie," would you pull it out of the out of the edge of the bin? Mm, maybe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just for the wine i wouldn't be desperate no. to catch it if it fell in you know <laughs> it's like oh no i guess we gotta watch shrek now oh. no. <laughs> i'll always watch shrek <laughs> uh marcus keep it up in it 
it's going to be a bin. If it the first half of the film, if it stayed that sort of level and built properly from there, I would have kept it. But second half just ruined it for me. Bin. Uh, no, do I even ask? I would have kept it if there were more deers, but <laughs> oh dear, uh, I would have been it. So. I was... wow. Okay, that's uh. I'm, I'm sorry, Hunter. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Then, now role, mine. I don't have to share it with anybody. It's all mine. <laughs> I, I, it's all like I'm, I'm not really into folk horror type stuff. I don't know why. Mm. But I don't really folk tend to enjoy them tough, that much. Yeah, that's yeah. a tough genre. It's, mm. it's hard. That's I think the, yeah. only because of her performance. <laughs> me, really. Yeah, I do like her. I reckon mm. you can't really be the ritual for films like this. Oh, not that 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 try. Oh, good. Oh, that was really underrated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At the time, like, no one else had seen it when I went to see it. I was like, so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to give it a rewatch, actually. It's worth oh, it. It's we could so do good. a rewatch. We've never done a rewatch. No. No, thank you. Have you guys done it on here? <laughs> do you not like it? Yeah, I think it was like one of the first ones <laughs> we did. Like like oh, damn. Yeah. yeah like the early one. Great film. I thought it was brilliant. There you go. Make, make, make Hunter do it again, and you can go. You can get, get up at two o'clock in the morning. Here you go. <laughs> you can watch Final Guys, our review. <laughs> so there you go. go. It'll be like revisiting it all over again. <laughs> cool. So okay, that's a bit of a mixed bag this time. So University, Dr. Jekyll. You know, three out of two. <laughs> one <day>. But <laughs> what one for the woods? <laughs> um, cool. So next week. I've got no screeners. So I'm now I've been looking through Shudder while we've been talking. Ooh, that's a good Do idea. you want to go for something old and classic or something a bit newer or a bit sure of both? Can I suggest that we do late night with the devil? Yeah, me too. Because now wants to watch it anyway. Yeah. And I would love to watch it again. <laughs> uh, I'm, okay, we'll I'm do that. down with that. Okay. We'll do late night with the devil. I'll happy watch it again. Um okay. That's fair of it. Okay, like, so we need the same one. So would you like a classic or another newish one? No. I don't mind. Okay. Is there anything new worth watching? Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> uh, what the one that's that come that on to the one that's find me. Oh, uh Immaculate. Hmm. Dude. Do you like you've seen Sydney Sweeney, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> We've seen she, it right. by the way. She in the movie, she's pregnant at one point, so in this nunnery, and she's just wearing see through shifts. Guys, like oh, so I know what we can watch. Where? Like, the day oh, the no. beast is on her now. <laughs> the I beast. love that film. Yeah, it's a really good Spanish language film. If you guys don't mind watching subtitles, <laughs> oh, we've so had funny. a bad past with Spanish films. Did you guys yeah. watch The Bar? Did we do that on here? We did The Bar. Yeah, it's that director. This is one of his did older you, films. Did you guys ever do Grabbers? I don't think so. So that's an that's Irish Mark's film. nickname. <laughs> nah, that's, that's back in the Benny Hill days. Old it's an grabbers. Irish movie where there's this land and sea creature attacking a small Irish town, and the only way for it not to kill you is to be fucking blind drunk. So the whole <laughs> town is just I've, fucking I've drinking like one. mad. That movie is so good. Right, that's I've my excuse that. now. That's my St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. That and Waking Ned Divine. Those are my St. Patrick's Day movies. <laughs> we got so stuff like... If you want. We got stuff like Lake Mungo as well. Oh, I want to see that. Go that's on. the found footage one. Like Mungo? That's really good. Yeah, let's do that. Um, see that. Got Pieces. That's a uh, that's a classic. Have you seen Tonight I'll Possess Your Corpse? Oh, no, I don't, I don't, I've never seen Dare the Beast. And... Or Psycho Gorman. I love that one. Gorman, so much fun. It's so good. I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's really what? fun. I think you'd like it. <laughs> Taz, how good was that little girl in that movie? She's so good. I actually have like the Blu-ray, like the really nice DVD cover and stuff of it. <laughs> she, she's so as like crazy as the monsters and all that shit is. She makes that movie. I'm like she's so good. Fun. Like she's such an asshole, but she's really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean. Two of you have already seen it though, so it depends. Would you want to read what? Always happy to. I'll, I'll watch whatever. <laughs> I've seen Psycho Gorman three times. Shrek. So. Shrek. Okay. <laughs> we should. No. 
isn't it? It's horrifically uh, beautiful anniversary this year of Shrek. Isn't the fifth one also coming out this year? Oh, God, that makes me feel old. What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's. Tw- I'll Google it. I'm pretty sure it's. it's Wait, Shrek is 25 years old. Holy cow! I, hate that. <laughs> yeah. I have like I'll, I'll... the parted VHS copy of it. <laughs> I remember. Was it Shrek three where the father died? Lord, Far- one of the, somebody a father died in Shrek three. Like I took my wife to see that three days after her dad died, not knowing. Oh no! <laughs> so, no. Oh no! <laughs> she was a blubbering mess. I'm like, oh, Jesus. But. Unlike your friend taking one, yeah. you out, I was not leaving. I don't leave a movie once. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever left the film. Like, no, <laughs> I would have said, "You go, goodbye. I'll see you when this is no, over." No, I felt bad for like dragging him. <laughs> I never feel. He was bad. like, "I hate you for this." <laughs> <laughs> we almost saw it at the drive-in here. I have three drive-ins. I don't know. If, do you guys have drive-ins over there? No, not really. No, we rainy. actually had a couple during COVID though. Because I did go yeah. see um, yeah. Back to the Future in oh, one, wow. and I wish I wish they kept it up because that was fun. <laughs> Within mm, like, there was one here yeah. as well. Less than an mm. hour from me, I have the the oldest drive-in in America and the largest drive-in in America. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I friggin' love it. I saw. Oh, you know, I forgot to mention on the show I'd watched um, Leprechaun One and Two at the drive-in last week. Classics. <laughs> love it. So we should do Leprechaun. Fun. <laughs> Again, hold on. Let's do Liverpool three, the, the Vegas one. Yeah, just don't do two. <laughs> I do actually like the terrible. Vegas one. <laughs> I like the Vegas one. The Vegas one and the space one were two favourite. <laughs> the Vegas one. God. Um, Can we do another Hellraiser? Good and some bad point? news, by the way. Shrek related. Um, oh, yeah. Shrek one, one wasn't it? isn't twenty five years old. It's <gasps> twenty four years old. <laughs> next year, then. Hey, next hey. year. Shrek 2 is 20 years old this year. <laughs> Shrek 1 is as old as my youngest daughter. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. All right. Mm. So let's do them. Let's do Late Night with the, De- Late Night with the Devil and Psycho Gorman. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Shrek. That sounds like a good double bill. But I'm yeah. going to watch Late Night with the Devil right after this. Oh, so I only watch watch it it that's only half ten. Go. Yeah, maybe. Although I've been drilling beers for yeah. hours, maybe this isn't the best time to watch. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. I actually think that would be <laughs> <in the way. laughs> You think? Yeah, These are like eight and nine per, eight and nine percent alcohol beers too. <laughs> oh my and like those are strong. Like, you know, twenty ounce beers, not little ones either. <laughs> Cool. Well, okay then. So next episode, we'll be watching Psycho Gorman and Late Night with the Devil. So you've got the good little double bill. Um, let's do my usual blurby stuff that I tend to do. But first, before I go and do our uh, wonderful sponsor, um, Hunter, is there anything you want to promote at the moment? Is it going to oh, be this book right here? <laughs> that book right there. I hope that yeah. uh, as Taz is recovering and reading, <laughs> <laughs> Check out a combustible. It's explosive. I am going um, to. <laughs> awesome. Uh, by the way, if you don't have it, I'll send it to you. Oh, thank um, you. There's a man who uh, goes to my gym who has feet like that. <laughs> <laughs> why are you looking? <laughs> he posed for the cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that where you buy your pictures from? I that just well, always I'm... go to gyms and take pictures of <laughs> <Yeah>. feet. <laughs> Do the old drive-by with the phone. <laughs> so a little cheeky one. Sure By the way, I, I, I hope my book is is prophetic. I hope the world like ends with spontaneous human combustion. That's been <laughs> my hope cool for a long time. <laughs> That's so fucked. That's the best way to go. It's better than the options <laughs> we currently <laughs> have. <laughs> exactly. This be fun. Last week, I went to an all you can eat pizza buffet, and I felt like I was going to die that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought I thought water at the end as well. Just... I mean, that, that's uh, the best way to go. I think. I love yeah. the scene out of that book where it's like, if you become so, like, it's just like you've seen so many people just go up in flames. Does there come a point when, when they go up in flames, you roast marshmallows on their fire? Might as well. Like, you're like, <laughs> I'm hungry. Everybody's going up in flames. I want a marshmallow. You don't even need to cook marshmallows. Just grab a leg. It's already cooked. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's disgusting. That's uh, just wrong. <laughs> that's the limit, is it? That's the line. <laughs> that's the line. Oh, the sofa thing wasn't a limit, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's the line. Right there. <laughs> Jesus By the way, God. burning people <laughs> smell like a pork roast. I that's why it's called long. Isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> Ma- Marcus Marcus would have been very well. <laughs> uh, anyway, so <laughs> grab coffee of Hunter's Break. Uh, it says here it is only eight pounds sixty-five. Go grab a coffee today. Um, also, a huge shout out to our sponsor, a Bonnable Book Club, and as always, I have got the books from the box. So this month we got a very nice little sticker. I'll put it up to that one. Oh, I like that's that cool. one. Go, um, that's from six today. Obviously, you've got your uh, bookmarks, you've got your snacks and stuff. I've eaten the snack already, I can't show you it. There's a cappuccino for that, yeah. It's very nice. He um, sits at the door cross legged, and then yeah, the I box do. comes <laughs> through the letterbox and he tears it open and he just eats <laughs> it's just like a ravenous dog, <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah that's the one. <laughs> tears so, out like a bear. <laughs> As the postman opens so, up the uh, the letterbox, his eyes are just there waiting. Yeah. The postman thinks there's a box. real vicious dog the other side, <laughs> but it's actually Mark. In my fucking books. <laughs> um, so, um, you can get the Full Guts box, which is a brand new book, a possibly pointed second hand book, and another indie title. Um, you also get snack, UK snacks, drinks, the odd little bits and pieces here and there as well. I think we've got a bit on there, which we also got, which was this little, uh, little beauty as well. Which are quite nice. Print mm-hmm. embroidery bits, all that kind of um, But you can also get the bare bones box, which is just the books. So this month we got a copy of Black Sheep by Rachel Harrison. Oh, I like her. Uh, they very good as well. Been very, very well reviewed. Um, good. A Good House for Children by Kate Collins. And our possibly quite second hand book is um, The Cover Four by JP Den- Delaney. So is that the sequel to The Girl After? Uh, I have no, I have no idea. idea. I'm just joking. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> and I actually looked in the book for that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I might have given um... an idea for the next book. <laughs> yeah. well, obviously, you just have to go to I'm on a book club at creatorid.com. Um Using the code Bloody Good Reads at checkout to get 10 off your first box. So go ahead over to them, guys. They've been supporting us since God. The um, since God, podcast days. Yeah, since God, <laughs> yeah, since God. <laughs> so, and they've been supporting God. Bloody Good Reads all the way from the start, all 100 episodes of Bloody Good Reads. So, um, yeah, go check them out. Um, and as always, you can follow us over on Twitter at Bloody Good Reads, Instagram at Bloody Good Reads, um, Freds at Bloody Good Reads, and uh, Facebook. I'm, I've got a group that I don't even look at. Um, and also check out our weekly podcast bloody good reads we're coming back soon uh had a bit of a break from that at the moment um so i don't know who i can have and can't put on the podcast anymore um explain what i'm not going to <laughs> i'm not going and to some people have been using ai <laughs> it ain't the ai bit <laughs> partly that i'm boycotting um, funny yeah. enough it is kind of doing that because people are pissed off people are using ai for covers <laughs> So there you oh, go. Uh, yeah, that's a whole other thing. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, you got you got that. You got other things we don't talk about that's been happening the last few days. Uh, so yeah, that happens to fly. <laughs> don't want to know. Uh, you can also follow. <laughs> um, uh, got our t- today's guest Hunter Shay. You can always go and follow Shay uh, Hunter on his website right there. there we um, go. Hunter, where else can we find you? What podcast Nowhere. are you? Are, are you uh, in the woods? Are you? Are you, are you, are you yeah. Well, <laughs> deep in dark. That's Every Tuesday we do Final Guys uh, live. We're coming up on episode 350 in a month. Jeez. Wow. So, uh, yeah, we do that every Tuesday night. And then Monster Men, I've been doing that since 2011. And now you guys. This is awesome. Yeah. You're a regular now. <laughs> You're part of the team. <laughs> so. I, I want to be here you all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any, look, for me, a podcast is always, oh, I'm doing a podcast. I got to start drinking. So <laughs> now you sound like we go. But at least it's yeah. but at least it's early in the day. You've got enough time to get over the drink. For me, it's early. Yeah, because I'm older, so I don't like to I don't like to night drink because then I pee all night and I can't sleep. Mm. <laughs> so I love day drinking. Same. You I'm make like, it to the toilet or just 
Just that. I make it to the toilet, but it's like, you know, seven times. It's like too many times. And then the trouble is with that is if you have one, then you're going to find out that you're peeing more. So you've got to have at least four before you and get Then I'm hydrating. Then I'm drinking water. That's just adding to the mix. I can't it's... sleep because I'm just like, I need to chug water. Like, I feel like I need to drink water nonstop. <laughs> and this Even thing up. happened so a few years ago where <laughs> like drinking gets me hyper. Like my dad <laughs> used was always like that. Like now I used to just drink, pass out. Now it's like, I'm up. Like I want to like start <laughs> looming or something at three in the morning. It's so weird. <laughs> and this is why I watch your podcast at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I understand. In between trips to the bathroom and looming, you're watching front of guys. Like, you well, you know, it's, it's Tuesday. He's on live. I might as well pop on. By the way, I want to have you on the show because if you're up that late, you deserve to be on the show. And no offense to the people who are watching in Australia and Asia. To hell with them. I don't know them. I'm not on their show. <laughs> but I'll have you on finally. It'll, it'll, sure. it'll be the you had the quietest guests in the world while I'm trying to be quiet with we'll deep black under his eyes there. Just we'll just like pie. we'll just beat you up. <laughs> That's what we do. It's like it's like boys high school. We just beat the hell out of you. <laughs> See how you handle it. Through, you just that on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck well, man. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> No, but do do go and check out the podcast, especially live. It's it's, it's got a nice little kind of group of people who tend to go on the live chat. So it's it's quite it's got quite nice to have a little chat. A very informed community. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's quite fun. Quite different in the morning, from yeah, uh, this podcast, then. Oh. oh, one one day we'll go live, and that's gonna be <laughs> no, a shit. No, no. Yeah, going without a net. I don't know how we haven't been cancelled. I don't know how we've gotten this far. There was a point <laughs> where we said we have to stop the pedophile jokes. Like that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna bite never. us in the ass at one point. <laughs> we will <laughs> never do that in Vietnam down, down before and <laughs> gone through lists of things that we're not allowed to say because it used to be so bad of editing out. He's like, look, guys, you just have to stop. Yeah, we don't edit. There, there's certain local towns we don't mention at all. I have to bleep them out. <laughs> we don't really want to say them. <laughs> oh boy. Just oh, to them as anyway, holes. sounds like Haywick. <laughs> There, there's a coastal town that you, that's actually been made into a documentary on one of our channels over here as it being that poor. And the houses bad. have got legs because they're built on stilts. <laughs> yeah, not the same size, though. <laughs> I mean, I mean you know, we, we're not used to our houses being made out just out of wood. But it's just... <laughs> yeah. Glorified shed with paint. Uh, they literally are just glorified sheds, pretty much. I believe the word is chalet. Uh, Oh yeah, they actually yeah. call them that, don't they? No, that's that's the Clacton ones. That's French oh, yeah. for shithole. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's let's do this before I get I get us cancelled. Right, as as always, a huge thanks to Hunter for coming on the show again this week. Um, and it is goodbye from me. Goodbye from Taz. Hey. Goodbye from Marcus. Who does? No, wait, 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 wait. Goodbye from Niall. Right, I'm going to disappear into the woods. So bye, everyone. (laughs) I know I'm still there. Oh, you're still there. (laughs) That didn't go to plan. You're going to fly back, like you know, and everything ever all at once. (laughs) That would be pretty good. I did realise halfway through that I'm actually connected to my laptop via this wire, so (laughs) it's all really wrong. (laughs) It looked like you were just getting sucked into the tree. Yeah. Oh my in my head, that was like that Homer Simpson bit where he just peers into the head. Goes to the bushes. <laughs> yeah, it didn't quite work out that way. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, well, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, bye. <laughs> See, my hands him. are doing it. <laughs> what, is, what is he doing? Anyway, see you know. later. See you later. No, wait, wait, wait. You, you, you do not end this later. podcast by saying see you later. You know how to end this podcast. All right, fucking. <laughs> oh. Can you do it as big moves? <laughs> do it as big moves. Fucking two moves. Get out of my podcast. <laughs> I don't know. What she say, pub? Do you know who my brother is? He's the Mister Gordon. It's actually Gary Oldman. <laughs> her, her, her brother is Gary Oldman. Yeah, for, for actual facts. Yeah. I was gonna say yeah, Judy right. Dench is the mess. <laughs> <laughs> She's had a hard life. Uh... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have these still? <laughs> Why not? Why you know, not? there's another image you can put on the screen. Just so that the audience is awful. Like really bad. Marcus. Marcus. It's fucking say toodles. Yeah. Toodles. That's, I said it so many times now. <laughs> but like say it used. again. It's like you will say it again. <laughs> say it like, right. just keeps whipping me. Just yeah. do it, I say. Do it. 